Hello, hi guys, welcome back to this lecture. We will, uh, in this section, so we will talk uh, about uh, managing or uh, customizing the crash map. Okay, and the objective will be we have, we have multiple objectives uh, for this uh, uh, lab. So, your first objective is to create uh, a data placement rule so to target a speci specific uh, device crisis class. For instance, your boss or uh, somebody says that I want to, I want my, my application need to write data only on the SSD device type, for, for instance. Okay, so we we'll do this scenario. And also, you'll uh, create uh, a specific pool, specific pool that we have to target uh, this uh, specific device type. And also, we'll have to create uh, a or editor our crash map because right now, right now we have uh, this uh, default this crash map hierarchy with user. We will edit it to, to be more customized. Okay. And uh, after that, you'll create you you'll see how we can. Uh, Compile or decompile a crash map. Okay, so you see how to do that. So let's go for the first scenario. I see how to create uh, a new pool that you will be able to use to write data within a specific device, device type class. Okay, in our case here, you will want to create a pool, a, a rule, a crash rule that will be that will allow us to write data only on the SSD device type. Okay, so go ahead. So the first, first things to do, let's go back on the I will go on the CFDM shell, go on the custodator. Okay, so our first thing that we will do is to list all the different different device class that we have within our cluster. It's the first step, okay, that we have to do. To do. Okay, so right now I have two, uh, from down I have, uh, by default, we have two device class that has been declared within our cluster, SSD and HDD, okay? By default, okay. And now, what types of uh, devices I have uh, within my cluster? Okay, I will list right now which type of device I, that I have in my cluster. I have, I can see, I have HDD device type. I have also SDD uh, or SDD device type with my cluster. Okay, so I will base, I will base on this, uh, those both label. Okay, I will be able to write uh, data within the this uh, specific drive. Okay, for instance, this OSD thirty seven is belongs to an uh, SS, SSD or uh, uh, HDD device type, and uh, for instance here, for the OSD four belongs to an SSD device type. Okay, so let's go ahead. Next step that we have to do is to create a new, a brand new. Crash map rule that that we will call ilter that that we will call ilter one on SSD only. Okay, so we will create a new brand a brand new uh, crash rule. Right now, let's create it. Okay, this one uh, by this command I will create a brand new okay SS, uh, crash rule call create rule. Okay, this name will be on SSD. Okay, it will be on replicate for replicated uh, pool types. Okay, but uh, the name will be uh, on SSD. And uh, it will allow us to create to, to write data only on the hosts that have uh, SSD device type only. Okay, so let's create this one. And uh, we will list uh, all the different. Uh, now I have uh, this, the new rule has been created. And uh, we have now uh, two, uh, two holes uh, here and our new one pool. Okay, so next step I will now create a new pool. That should be able to that should be able to use a visa rule. Okay, so let's create it. Uh, the command will be a uh, self OSD pool creator uh, my fast. This is the name. This will be this is the name of uh, our new pool. Okay, and it has been created. It will be created with the thirty two uh, placement group. Okay, and uh, it will uh, I will assign to to this pool this rule. Okay. This pool will use of this rule to uh, write or and read data within the cluster, and this rule say only SSD data will be chosen during during the writing operation. Okay. Okay. So let's go. after done that, I will check if, if effectively or uh, if of uh, my uh, I will see I will see if of uh, the pool placement group. Uh, has been a target to the different SSD uh, device type. Okay, so let's do that. Let's check that. First of all, what I have to do is to retrieve the ID, the ID of my pool. Okay, and from the ID of this pool, I can I can check all the placement group. Okay, that has been created, uh, that has been uh, created and assigned to the different uh, OSD. Okay, so here, for instance, I have, uh, remember here, my pool, I have uh, the ID two. Okay, 
Okay, so when I see two a two nine and so on, this two means that we pull two. Okay, the, this pg, this one is the pg. Okay, uh, this this one is the id of a pg. Okay, and this pg belongs to the pool two. Okay, and uh, this pg has been uh, assigned to those OSD drive or OSD daemon. Okay, and uh, this one you can see that uh, we have uh, the OSD six. Four and thirty. Okay, for instance. So let's go back here. I, see, well, I will take this one, the first one. Okay. The was the uh, four is a. Let's see if if it is an, an SSD four. Yeah, it is an SSD. Okay, right. And let's see again the fourth fourteen. And uh, where is it? Uh, mm -mm. I have to look at for you rapidly. Yeah. Okay. It is an SSD drive also. Okay, so as you can see, uh, let me see the third, last one. This one, uh, it is also an SSD. As you can see, all the, the placement group has been assigned, okay, to only SSD device type. That means that the data will always be will be always right into SSD device type only, definitively. Okay, so that all for this first part. And uh, let's uh, go move to the next part of this uh, uh, scenario. Okay, well, for, for the sec next, next part, I will show you how you, you could be able to edit this uh, crash map hierarchy. Okay, because right now, by default, we have uh, only uh, we have a root device and we have OSD and host. It's not very good, no, it's not suitable. Let's suppose that we have uh, this, uh, we, have, we have a data center and we have this hierarchy within your data center. Okay, so your crash map. Or your crash map hierarchy should be uh, tied to your to your data center uh, representation. Okay, let's say that we have uh, we can have a uh, three uh, two range of rack. Okay, and we can have uh, the rack one, one two, rack two, and rack three, for instance. Okay, and let's suppose that uh, your server one, okay, or your host one, or your OSD one node is belong to or is inside to. Your OSD one, for instance, uh, is in, into this rack one, for instance. Okay, and we have uh, the OSD two, is, which is on this rack two, for instance. And uh, we have uh, the OSD node node uh, three and uh, four, which are on this rack. Okay, so your so sorry for that. Uh, so for your your crash map hierarchy should be tied should be a. Uh, like uh, your physical uh, representation of your different uh, uh, node within your data center. So let's do that. To uh, to achieve that is quite uh, simple. Let me sh let me show you that. Okay, you have to create a new variable uh, that will be uh, that will be a uh, represent of a different rack that we have within your cluster. I will say I will create a rack one, rack one, rack two, and rack three. Okay, and I will say this rack uh, is is belong to my default uh, hierarchy uh, with my cluster. And I will move the OSD one to this rack one, the OSD two to the rack two, and the OSD three and four to the rack three. Okay, so it's what I will do right now. So let's do that. Okay. So let's do that. I will first of all create a different variable. Mm. Okay, so I have just uh, yeah first to create a the... variable rack one, uh, the rack two, and uh, the third rack. Okay, so next steps I will now uh, assign all this variable. Let, let me go back here and show you how it appear. Uh, this variable as well, as you can see here. Okay, so let's go ahead. Next step will be uh, to move uh, this rack to the to my default hierarchy. Okay, and uh, I will do the same things so for the rack rack uh, two and third. third. Mm, okay. Uh, after done that. I have. I, I will now, uh, as you can see here, 
I have the OSD and my, my different nodes, okay, the OSD 1, 2, and 3. I have to move them all into the, the different nodes, okay, into the different rack. So let's do that. Um, let me show, I will do one thing first to show you, okay. So the OSD 1 has been assigned to the rack 1, okay. And I will do the same thing, so uh, the similar thing. I will assign the OSD 2 to the rack 2. Let's go back and view the how it appears here. Yeah, okay, as you can see, our crash map hierarchy has been uh, updated from the, on the dashboard. Okay, so third one. And of the okay, great. So now we are okay, very good. We have to move next to the here. We finish of this uh, the, the second activity. Okay, now our crash map has been uh, it, uh, updated. Right now, it's okay. So we can move to the next part of uh, of our our scenarios. Let's say that you receive a new request, which is uh, to create, which is this one. You need all data to be stored primary. The first copy of the data should be, uh, for instance, uh, stored within the rack one. This is and uh, the, within this rack one and uh, on uh, SSD type of device. This is the requirement. Okay, so there are the primary. That means that the primary OS, OSD should be on the rack one okay and the others or copy of the uh, of the uh, data should could be on the rack two and or rack three and uh, this the type of uh, of the device that should be uh, choose is uh, hdd on the rack three and or uh, two how can we achieve this one it's uh we do this we'll do it all right now let me show the procedure okay your gear we have to first of all uh uh down to retrieve the, the last copy of the crash map okay and after that we will, uh, we will decompile it because it's an encoded file and i will decompile it here and after that i will have to edit of this file and uh, to to add our new uh, rule that we intend to use this rule for instance this rule will do this one we will use uh, the first rack okay any device uh, type of ssd device in this rack one and uh, within uh, this device i will store the first copy of our data so this means that our primary osd will be within this class within this uh, rack and uh, the others the secondary osd will be into the uh, rack two and three okay and uh, it will be type of the uh, osd will be a uh, type of hdd hdd here let's go so so, so the first thing sir, is uh, what i told you is uh, to retrieve the uh, uh, crash map Okay, so we choose it over the command, the command SF OSD get crash map. Okay, and I will uh, decompile it as I already told this one. Now. It will be your, let me see, it is your command. Okay, yeah, it's okay. So to be sure that everything, uh, the, this uh, decompiling has been done uh, successfully. Yeah, the, okay, that means that's okay. And next step, I will, uh, we will edit this file or oh, we will. Uh, but before that, let me create, create a copy, a copy, and it will be on this copy that I will perform my update. So I will go to the last line. I didn't use the... Okay, so I'm at the, at the button of the file. So I can add my uh, rule, the rule that I, I intend to use. It is this one. The ID of, of the whole is uh, ID uh, 3, okay? So I will use this ID, it is important, for, it will be very important for the next. So, as I told you, it is, it, the primary OSD will be on the rack 1, and it will be uh, from, it will be type of SSD, okay? And uh, 0 means that any, okay, any also within this uh, rack to be chosen for, for the, the, this action. That means that if you are, I put, for instance, uh, uh, 1 here, that means that the first host within this uh, rack will be chosen. If I use a minus one, this will be, a, I can choose any also, uh, except the last one. Okay, let's go ahead. I will save the file. And uh, after done that, uh, I will uh, compile, okay, again the file. And uh, before it be able to, to deploy it in my environment. Let's compile it, okay, no error after the compilations. 
So next step, I have to, to test, okay, perform a dry, dry run of this uh, file, for this file. This uh, dry run is uh, this, uh, I will deploy this one as a dry run, testing. And uh, the rule, I told you that you have to keep this, the ID number of the rule, it will be three, okay? And the replica number is, uh, I want to have three replica, okay? For the testing purpose, let me see. Yeah, okay. Here I have a feedback. Remember, if I want to be sure that uh, this uh, dry run, uh, first of all, this means that uh, the rule is okay. Okay, and let me see if I, I, sh I should uh, reach out the expecting uh, thing. Here is my uh, self cr uh, crash uh, tree, uh, three and uh, the, the HDD driver are on the OSD 3, 7, and 11, and uh, 16, and 20. Okay, let me see if for the first OSD, yeah, we have 16, uh, 11, yeah, I'm good. And uh, I have again, it's repeat, 11, 3, 20. Okay, that means that uh, the rule is, is working uh, successfully. Okay, that means that everything is okay. And uh, let me see this one, uh, the 40 should be, yeah, it is here. Okay, 26, uh, 26 on the, yeah, okay, very good. So that means that the, this rule is working perfectly so I can move on the production, okay? I can deploy it, it on, the, on production successfully. So to do that, uh, the command is uh, a bit easy. The command is uh, self OSD set crash map dash e, okay dash i and uh, the the path the full path of uh, to access to have access to the file. Let's do that. Great. There we go. So now our new crash rule has been successfully deployed. It is on I can see the production. To be sure that it is there. We can list all the crash rules that I have in my cluster. Okay, we have, uh, if you remember, we have the one on OSSD, and uh, we have the last our last uh, rule that we created before. Okay, so let's create a new pool, and I uh, will assign it to this pool of this new rule that we created. I will see that uh, I will create, I will call it test crash. Okay, and uh, the number of PG will be uh, thirty-two, simply. Okay, so let's do, do it. The new pool, the pool has been successfully created, and uh, let's see how the pages in how the how how this page the pages assigned to this pool will be distributed. Okay, well, we have this pool. I will the ID three. Okay, so now I will list. I will list the number of of pool. Let me list the number of the PG, of pages that I have within this cluster. But let me before do that. I would like to see only the PG. Yeah. The PG uh, of the pool uh, three. So I will when I perf perf perform this grab, that means we are filter only the pool that have the PG that has been now belongs to the pool three. Okay, so great, sir. And um, we have here we have the true. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay. So we are among the pool the, P the different PG that has been created. Okay, and uh, let's say with PG, this one for instance, we have the SSD, the, the, on the, it will be on the OSD 7. If you remember, you, uh, let me call back the, the comment for the, to see the i3. Okay, I have the, the different OSD for the, on the rack one, uh, that will be on the device, that are on the device uh, SSD. We have uh, 3, 7, 11, uh, 16, and 20. So that's great. Here yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. Like as you can, you can see, all the first, all the primary OSD are on the on this list. Okay, so that means that uh, everything is okay. This pool work perfectly. We have uh, the primary OSD here, as you can see. Here we can see the state of the different primary OSD in this column, and others the secondary OSD are on the rack two and three. Okay, great. So that means that uh, everything is okay. This lab is finished, and uh, thank you very much. Hope you learn, learn, and I'll see you for the next lecture. Bye from now.